Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryabiga back with a new Minecraft video. In this short tutorial, I will show you how to install both Optifine and shaders for Minecraft 1.17 and up. Shaders make your experience in Minecraft a lot better, especially if you have a nice GPU to make the game look awesome. So guys, let's get right to it. All right, so first off, we're gonna install Optifine. This is a little program which allows you, of course, to run shaders on your Minecraft client. So for that, you're gonna follow the link in the description to Optifine, and we're gonna search for the downloads. Then you're gonna go to the Minecraft 1.17 preview versions, and you're gonna take the latest version available. I'm making this video on the 1st of July, so if you found a more recent version or the official 1.17 version, definitely make sure to install that one. So right now, all we wanna do is press download, and right now, of course, we're gonna have to wait a little bit with this little advertisement, but then we're just simply gonna press skip and the download should start if we press download right here. Okay, so right now we have our preview of the find 1.17 HD file right here. Right now we can double click this one and press install. Of course, make sure that you have the right folder selected right here where you have installed Minecraft and after clicking install, like one second later, you will have this little pop-up with Optifine is successfully installed. Right now we can press OK, everything will close and right now you can pretty much delete this one. We won't need it anymore. Next up, we want to open up our Minecraft launcher by clicking this one. And of course, it will say the Optifine version right there. This installation has been modified and might not support the latest player safety features. Guys, it's very important with your installations that of course you have the latest release installed 1.17. Only then this Optifine file will work. So definitely make sure to always keep your game up to date. And right now we can press play. All right, so here we are in Minecraft. Right now, I'm just gonna press single player right here, go to my video world where I'm preparing some new things. But um, this is entirely without any shaders. So the game looks exactly like this. So um, if we stand a little bit closer to the water, you can see exactly that everything looks pretty basic right here. But um, if we press escape, we can go to options, video settings. And right now we also have the shader option right there. So we're gonna click that one. And um, if you want to install some shaders, I will provide some extra links in the description to Sears Renewed and Enchanted Default. To install these, it's also very easy. All you have to do, if you don't have any shaders in your folder, just press the shader folder right here. And this pretty much opens up the folder in Windows. And then all you're gonna do pretty much is drag and drop the downloaded shaders right into this one and there you have it. So right now if we go back to the game you can see that both shader packs were added to Minecraft so you could choose whichever one you want to play with. This is actually my favorite right here. It looks very basic, but at the same time makes Minecraft look so much nicer and it doesn't demand too much from your PC. So um, our water looks a lot better right now. Of course, we can tell that we have a shadow with us. The blocks just look a little bit more vibrant and everything. I don't know, man. It's definitely really cool to play with this. And this, guys, is what the nether looks like. Nothing too fancy, but of course, if we swap our shaders for a second to see us, you will see that you can do some pretty crazy stuff with the shaders. So yeah, right now you can definitely tell that the game looks next level, guys. The lighting is beautiful with the see shaders. I definitely recommend you to get your hands on this one if you have a nice PC. But of course, if you want to stick with a basic experience, the enchanted default is already going to do very well. All right, so guys, there you have it. Pretty much everything you need to know in order to install shaders for Minecraft 1.17 and up. If you enjoyed watching this video, definitely make sure to hit that like button. It definitely helps me out a lot. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe because a lot more Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons is coming your way. Right now, it's 4 a.m. out. Time to start my adventure on this world. I mean, I found a very awesome um, little island near the spawn, Mushroom Island. But um, yeah, I'm going to talk about that in another video. Guys, big thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.